Once the family has devoured your holiday meal, there's usually enough turkey or chicken to give some leftovers a delicious new spin. Linda Carmen has one idea that we're already crazy about. Cream chicken on cornmeal waffles. And man, does that look delicious. I think it looks great. How are you, Linda? I'm doing just fine, Meryl. Good. How are you? I'm doing great. I can't Good. wait to try this recipe. I've always thought about waffles as a great way to, you know, kind of a base for leftovers. But you're going to show us Waff how to do it. Waffles are. And um, I'm just... I'm crazy about waffles. I love having them for like Belgian waffles for breakfast yeah. with fruit and all that kind of stuff. But and, for a um, main dish, what a great idea. I know. So we've got carrots and celery and onion, the traditional comfort food place you start, just the same place you'd start to make um, make chicken soup or, you know, all Pot kinds pie. of chicken. Uh, yeah. Uh, so just going to to kind of um, let that cook just a little bit until it thickens and then we're going to add a couple of cups of milk okay and just do that kind of gradually and stir and this is this is a kind of a Nashville chicken on cornbread it's kind of a Nashville tradition there used to be a, re a restaurant at a hotel down on West End mm -hmm. named the Allen Hotel oh, yeah. mm -hmm. you remember that sure it's kind of been gone a long time but they had what they called chicken on egg bread that they served oh yeah and um, this is sort of a similar kind of thing. That was kind of saucy chicken. But I just I just love these real kind of old-fashioned comfort things. And then to kind of give it a little twist with a waffle is mm -hmm. kind of fun. And a cornbread waffle at that. I know. So what can be better than what can be better than that? And we're gonna put just a little bit when when you get finished with I think you can add the rest now. Okay. Um, when you get finished with thickening that up a little bit. We're going to add a little thyme to that, which gives it a, I don't know, another little kind of, of twist that really is tasty. And, that looks um, great. And we'll add, then when that gets thick, we'll add chicken okay. and the peas. And I guess, I don't know, I'm not a huge pea lover. I think i one reason I added it is because I think it looks pretty. Yeah, it's, it adds good color, doesn't it? <laughs> but, um, but you know, if and these you, are just frozen peas. Yeah. Okay. If you don't want that, just you know, you can do it either way. It's not going to make yeah. or break the recipe. Well, let's make some cornbread. Let's do. Uh, this is. I love this recipe because it's really, really crispy in the waffle iron. Oh, I bet and that's And the good. way it, the way it works is that this is this is two cups of cornmeal, self-rising Martha White self-rising cornmeal mm -hmm. mix, of course. That makes it easy because you don't have to measure all the other stuff. I oh, know it's, it's already, already in got there. the leavening and the salt and everything in it, and just the right amount so you don't get too much. And you just whisk it up, and then put a third of a cup of oil. So it doesn't have egg, and it has a pretty good bit of shortening. So when you get ready to cook, they're they're just, they'll just be nice and crispy. Um, and I don't, that's the thing to me about, about the cornbread all the time anyway, is the crisp yeah, crust. Yeah, that it's makes it nice. Nice and brown and, and crisp on the outside. And this does make, though, a very thin batter. So don't be surprised and that's fine. about that. That's okay. the way it has to be to make it um, work. So we'll just pour this. And the waffle iron. I've decided I need one of those little waffle irons. Mine's too big and I never want to mess with it. <laughs> <laughs> I need one of those little well, cute ones. <laughs> well, it's, um, it's just, it's nice and handy and it makes nice little waffles. But so you'll just let that go good. till the steaming stops? That's right. And then just top it with this and you're good to go, huh? That's, that's all there is what to it. What an easy recipe. Mm -hmm. And you could do this with turkey. I bet you could do it with ham if you wanted to. Add some ham. Oh, yeah. All kinds of. All kinds of variations on a theme here. That looks delicious. Isn't Linda, it, I isn't tell it you what, yeah, I think it is. It and looks I'll, like like and a. If you just and I'll you you put pepper on a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, I know that I looks just, great. I well, love. that looks like a wonderful uh, way to use leftovers and make it look like a fantastic new meal. Thank you so much. Well, I'm happy we, to be here. We Thank appreciate you. it. Linda's cream chicken on cornmeal waffles recipe is online in the Talk of the Town section at NewsChannel5.com.